Hi there, Becky here from 168 Fitness. Uh, so over the past few weeks, I've been talking about achieving your uh, post-summer, get back into shape, uh, maybe health, fitness and weight loss goals. Um, so yeah, I've been talking a bit about exercise, a bit about nutrition, keeping you motivated and accountable and goal setting, all of those things. And um, so yeah, hopefully you're feeling like you're efforts are paying off like it, it might be a bit early days it does take time i'm going to be realistic it's not going to happen overnight but hopefully you can start to feel better in terms of um feeling more energized maybe you do notice a difference when you look in the mirror or just that you feel different maybe your body just feels like it's changing or just you just feel happier and healthier for getting back into your routine if you've just getting back into things post summer if you're starting afresh you haven't exercised for a while then perhaps you are feeling like um you're achieving those goals ticking off those goals um because uh yeah maybe it, when you're starting um starting out it is sometimes um not easier but you notice there's more benefits to be had if that makes sense so when you're completely new to exercise then you yeah you get all the all the benefits uh, all at once so that's good um but yeah the, the key thing uh that i will say all along i could do a video every week just literally saying keep going if you have fallen uh, off the wagon a little bit at all over the weekend or any time you uh, just thought do you know what can't do it today don't want to do it today whatever that's okay that's life that doesn't matter but just the key thing is get back on track with it and just keep doing what you were doing it's really simple not easy but it's simple to do don't overcomplicate things exercising three times a week as a minimum and uh, last week I was talking uh, sorry the week before I was talking about using my fitness plan that's what I want to focus on this week is that if you've been using that app then um you've perhaps well hopefully you've you've achieved some goals off the back of that because the key thing is uh that as long as you use it and you stick to it and you're truthful and honest with your food log there's absolutely no way if you follow the goals on there that you won't lose weight i can assure you if anyone doesn't lose weight by using my fitness pal it's because they haven't been um necessarily honest or accurate it might not be that you you're not adding all the information but you're not being it, like that you're lying that it, but you might just have um yeah you might just have not been as accurate you might not have weighed the food you might have guesstimated things or um yeah you just or you've eaten the wrong foods and just completely disregarded it but the chances are um you won't be using the app if you're not thinking about it and that's where i'm i'm gonna say today um, is that if you keep using that app, I promise you, and you're sticking to the goals, you will achieve your you will achieve your goals. So that those calorie goals that it sets you, you will achieve your weight loss goals if you you keep using that app. So my point today is basically keep doing that if you're using My Fitness Pal. If you're completely anti My Fitness Pal app or technology is not for you or whatever, um, it just makes it a little bit more challenging because I don't expect you to know what um uh what calories are in each food and you kind of do need to know that in order to lose weight but you can kind of work it out a little bit that if you've um been finding that your weight has stayed the same over the past few weeks then it it makes sense that you need to perhaps um reduce your portion sizes so if you cut back a little bit on if you stuck to the same foods that you were eating but you just had less of them then the chances are over time uh, you will lose weight um, as long as your activity stays the same and you're not replacing the food with anything else then that's going to work um, alternatively if you um, know that you're eating foods that are obviously not great for you so processed foods things like cakes biscuits crisps um, fried food just like anything you know to be um, it's not that they're naughty it's just that they're not great for you it's like putting um it's like putting diesel fuel in a petrol car um it's not going to i mean that would be disastrous but it's not quite as disastrous as that but it's not going to help you to um 
it's a, you're not going to feel fueled you're not going to feel like you've got energy you're not going to feel on top form you you're it's not going to help you achieve your goals because you're putting the wrong fuel in your body so if you can just think about what would you um what would you describe as healthy food what you, if you were asked in a like i don't know in a asked as a question on a game show what name some healthy foods uh what would you what would you suggest what would you say and write those down perhaps if you're feeling a bit like um you're not sure or even google healthy recipes or something it will come up with it and generally speaking it's going to come up with some really good nice healthy nutritious um fresh foods and things like that there's loads of stuff you can choose from uh, but yeah write a list and then just pick from that list and try and stick to that sort of 80 percent of the time at least would be good so um for example right if i talk about myself then what i what i tend to do is monday to friday eat spot on exactly what i know i should and what i'd advise all of my clients to eat like i probably eat a bit more than um they would but uh, that's because I'm doing plenty of exercise but I eat all the right foods and try not to deviate from that at all and then come the weekend I generally breakfast time healthy I like to have porridge or oats or something um, snacks sometimes that I will allow myself if I go out that's where like the weekend comes in is that I'm out and about or maybe I go and see friends or maybe I have a gin and tonic or like I just let myself live a little bit and and so then I call that sort of 80 20 so 80 percent of the time Monday to Friday I am eating exactly what I should be eating and what's right for my body and then 20 percent of the time as a maximum and maybe having something a little bit that more of what I fancy rather than what is best for my body so um I don't know fish and chips instead of having um some salmon and potatoes and salad or something like that you know it's like a bit um, it's fried for one it's going to be a bigger portion it's going to be greasy it's going to be fatty but it's fine because life's for living and I don't want to deprive myself so I do that not as I don't do it on purpose intentionally it's just that if I'm out and I want to have a nice meal then that's what I have and it it's um that's okay too so 80 20 is the rule that i follow and i would encourage you to as well and then it does mean that you're not going to achieve the goals rapidly because it that 20 percent of the time is going to sort of take you're going to take a step back when you um if if when you're having um food and, and eating more or the wrong sort of food sort of you do kind of take a little bit of a step back but that's okay because then it means that you can keep this up for the long term you don't feel like you're on a diet because that's not what we want we we want to just be eating we just want to be fueling our body with the right food 80 percent of the time and 20 percent of the time we're just enjoying ourselves and and as long as you don't go too crazy then you will still achieve your goals and um yeah it's it's to me that's a no-brainer that you don't want to feel like you're depriving yourself that you can't go out with your friends you can't have a drink that it's a six week diet and at the end of that six weeks when you've achieved your goals super quick then you can just go back to eating whatever you want and whenever you want and all of that because that's it's not well might happen but it's not great it's not a good feeling and you're just going to end up back where you started so we're trying to create a sustainable sort of eating routine perhaps so that's what i want you to do this week in a roundabout way um that's the the top tip for this week is to um keep using my fitness pal if you are already if you're not using it just get on board with the idea of just reducing maybe portion sizes maybe opting for some healthier food choices instead um or a bit of both of those um and just yeah just looking after yourself thinking about what you, you're fueling your body with and uh, next week i'll have some more top tips see you then